AI TV. Aloha aina. I'm Ehu Kekahu Cardwell with the Kowani Foundation here on Free Hawaii TV, a part of the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. The Red Hill water contamination crisis is the biggest news story here in Hawaii. It's now been revealed that Hawaii residents, including U.S. military families, have been drinking and using jet fuel contaminated water for years. But there's one other reason this is such a big story, and it's because of what this scandal really reveals. People have been warning for years that the Red Hill tanks have been leaking fuel and contaminating Oahu's water supply, and no one had done anything about it, not the U.S. military or the U.S. federal government. And what this shows is that for the U.S. federal government, Hawaii is really this. For the United States, Hawaii is simply a buffer zone a first line of military defense against attack from a foreign military. Pearl Harbor proved that. Japan didn't attack Hawaiians. They attacked the United States. The U.S. doesn't stay in Hawaii because it cares about Hawaii and its people. It's here in Hawaii to protect its mainland from attack from the West, period. If there is an attack, U.S. leadership wants Hawaii to sustain the damage, not the U.S. West Coast. Otherwise, it never would have ignored such a major disaster like Red Hill all these years. Now, if you think this information is important, share this free Hawaii TV video with all your friends online. That's how you can support a free Hawaii. I'm Ehu Kahu Cardwell with the Kowani Foundation saying Ola Ikavai, water is life, right here on the Free Hawaii Broadcasting Network. <laughs>